today 226 in the, in the red MPB book. We're going to talk about uh, fixture carriers, plate type carriers, and laboratory support carriers. The first one on page 226 is MC31. Um, the MC31 is typically used uh, with two uprights and a universal plate that is connected um, to this upright to support urinals and water coolers. And we have a hardware pack in the box that includes the, the U-bracket uh, bolts that will bolt the universal uh, mounting plate to the legs. And then you'll notice the studs, we have plastic protectors on the studs so that and these studs are, are to receive the fixture, whether it's the urinal or the water cooler. And the reason why we provide the plastic on the hardware is so that during construction, if any mortar or anything gets on the studs, then the plastic protector will prevent that from going on the threads so that the installer can still use the screws to um, mount the cooler or the urinal to the whole system. The reason why there's so many slots in this plate is different urinals and different uh, coolers have different mounting configurations. So we provided all these long slots to give the installer maximum flexibility to adjust to mount onto the front of this. In some cases, um, urinals and water coolers will need a different type of pattern. And we have the ability to manufacture these plates in any design. Um, but we cover most of them with this, this plate configuration here. One of the advantages that we have with all of our plate type carriers is we provide a measuring guide on the face of the leg. So for the installer, it's a nice reference point from the ground to here where we're typically mounting this plate as to where it needs to be relative to the height of the urinal or the water cooler. Another thing that we do to uh, make it easier for those to use the product is we rounded the corners on the base. Most companies have right angle corners on the base. So we went with rounded to make it a whole lot easier during handling, less chance of somebody scratching themselves, cutting themselves. And the boxes hold up better. We found that with rounded plates, we were having less breakage of the box, therefore fewer parts were being lost during shipment and handling and storage. You'll also notice there's a round hole in the bottom of the base. And this came from contractors that said sometimes these legs are exposed on site during construction before the roof is on. And in that case, if in the event water goes um, into the upright, we have a drainage port so the water will go through and will not accumulate in the upright and then rot away the upright. That's a unique feature to my fab there, and I believe that the rounded corners on the base of the plate are as well. So the MC31 consists of these two legs. It consists of the universal plate, which we have here, and this other leg, our second leg, and then the hardware pack. And everything is in one box. So there's not different uh, pieces that we have to order. Everything is packed nicely into one uh, box, which you see right, right here. Any questions on the MC31? The MC32 on the bottom of page 26, 226 is the same as the MC31. All we're doing is adding a lower bearing plate. The reason we're adding the lower bearing plate is um, imagine a water cooler, a drinking fountain at an airport or restaurant. Sometimes they can be quite long. So in addition to mounting the water cooler from the top onto the universal plate, we could have a secondary bearing plate to also receive the cooler. So it's, it's um, connected at the top and at the bottom. And that's, <clears throat> that's why we have an MC32 uh, for that function. It could also be a urinal, it could be a longer urinal. So we want to have the ability to grip it in two points. With the, with the uh, MC33 and 34 on page 227, the MC33 is just like a 31 except we're providing one extra leg and one extra bearing plate. 
And the reason why we have a 33 is you could have a bi-level water cooler installation. So you have the adult water cooler here, then you can have the children's water cooler beside it, which obviously is going to be lower so they can get at it. So with a, with a 33, you can see we position the plates one higher than the other to accommodate that. And then we offer the 33-2, which is the same as the 33, except we have the lower bearing plate um, option. And that would be on both so that you can properly mount the cooler top and bottom. That's why we would have a 33-2. The 34 is for a different type of fixture. Um, this is the arm that is used on the MC-34 and the MC-40 carriers. This is called an exposed carrier arm. And the reason why people would use this is we have a heavier duty sink. Um, so it's not a concealed arm carrier where we, where we would use an MC-41 lab carrier. In this case, um, this is going to be mounted to a bracket. So we're going to have the same upright. We are going to have a bracket that's going to go over the top of this upright. And then this will be mounted to the front of the bracket. And there'll be one here, of course, there'll be one on this side as well. So <clears throat> this is a sink that's uh, a clinical sink. It's used in a hospital. It could be in a factory um, where we need more support for the sink. That's why somebody would choose an MC34. Um, and you've got the hanger plate at the top, so you can affix the top of the fixture to that, and then you've got support underneath the fixture to give it more support on the underside. But this will be exposed, so if somebody looks underneath the sink, they're going to see the two white epoxy coated arms uh, <clears throat> underneath the sink as well. The MC35 is the same concept as the 34, except we've added one extra leg. So in the event that we have an extra wide sink or we have a bi-level system, uh, we accommodate the width. And you can imagine if somebody said, well, I want four legs, we can do that as well. No, no problem with that. <clears throat> On the bottom of page 228, the MC36 to 39D, that's strictly the universal hanger plate which is like, like this. So somebody could say, I don't need the legs. I'm just going to mount this to the studs, either the wood studs or metal studs that I have in the wall system, and support the fixture that way. We don't typically recommend that, because the advantage of using the legs is the load gets displaced down to the ground, and you get more strength and more support. The risk <clears throat> of mounting this to the studs only is it could come off the wall depending on the weight that's borne on, on the fixture. But nonetheless, we do offer a range of MC36, uh, 37, 38 products based on, on customers' needs. Any questions so far? Okay, page 230, the MC40. Um, the, now we're getting into sink carriers. The MC40, again, is going to use this arm, the exposed arm, but it doesn't have the top hanger plate support like the MC34 does. It's strictly the two um, epoxy-coated exposed arms that, are, that is supporting the sink underneath it. The MC41 on the bottom of page 230 is a very common, uh, probably our most common laboratory carrier. and. This is, this has got a lot of advantages with MyFab. One of them is the, the packaging. You'll notice that on the front of the box, every box that we ship, <clears throat> the, the, um, the 10 most common, The 10 most common, it's actually on the other side of this. The 10 most common laboratory rough-in guides are printed on the box, in addition to all of the parts that are within the box. All of our competitors have a system where the, the 
brackets that support the arm are designed in such a way where the threaded part here is in the middle of the upright. We've designed it differently. We have our bracket, what we call offset, so that the threaded part is not in line with the post that's offset to the, in this case, to my left. Or you can flip it. We can flip that bracket around to get the bracket on the other side like that if we wanted to. We can also flip the bracket backwards like this, and what that does is it pulls the threaded part in uh, the, the depth of the post. So we could start threading <coughs> the nipple at that point, or we could start threading it at this point. So in effect, we have three stages of adjustment with our MC41 concealed arm lap carrier. The first stage of adjustment is flipping the bracket. It can either be at the back of the post, or it can be at the front of the post, like that. And that gives us a variance, again, as to the width of this upright. Then, we have a, um, a nipple, which is right here. And this nipple threads into the upright um, header bracket right there, like so. So that nipple can thread into the upright the, the length of the threads on the nipple. So we have all of that adjustment. <clears throat> Our competition has a arm that, th that threads into the, the bracket and dead ends at the post. So as a result, they offer different lengths of arms to go into the nipple and extend out relative to the depth of the fixtures being used. Whereas at MyFab, we have one arm, the MC41 uh, PA arm, which is universal. Because the third adjustment is the arm can go in and out of the nipple. And then we have the two screws in the nipple to lock the arm. Once we have the arm in the right position, then we'll tighten up those two screws and set the, set the arm system. So again, the three adjustments are the nipple can go in and out of the bracket, and then the bracket can be flipped either way. And of course, in this example, we would put the nipple here. That's number two. And then number three is threading the nipple in and out of the arm like this. So most of our customers ask us, do we have a fixture roughing guide? And we don't need one because irregardless of the type of fixture, the brand of fixture being used, with those three adjustment ranges, we can accompany most um, concealed uh, arm lavatory systems. The exception would be an ADA system, uh, uh, where you have a longer, a deeper sink, and then we have the MC42 for that. But that's pretty rare these days. The other advantage is the way we package this product. You'll notice that the arms have the lockers and the levelers affixed to the arm and they're in a bag. We did that on purpose. In the event that during shipment these get loose, they stay within the bag. And we have found that this has greatly reduced uh, instances where people are receiving the product and, and hardware is missing. The other thing that we do is we pack everything to be right inside of this box. So the complete MC41, the most common lavatory carrier for concealed lavatories, everything is in one box, whereas our competition designs these to have the arms separate, sometimes the upright separate. So for a stocking wholesaler, it's, it's a lot more confusing. Parts can get lost, time is wasted to try to determine which length of arm do we need to use relative to the fixture that we have on site. Sometimes the sinks change on a project. Or you might have a big project where one building is different from another building. Again, with ours, you have the advantage of adjusting the arm relative to the fixture that, um, that you're using on the site. Any questions on the, on the 41? Okay, the MC41D on page 231 at the top 
is exactly like the MC41, except the bracket um, has another, what I would call a wing to it right here. So it can be back to back. So we're going to have this part, and then we're going to have another part that sticks out from here. And the reason for that is you can put your nipple on this side and on this side <clears throat> of the bracket. Now we're not going to have as much adjustment with a, with a, um, a 42 because, as you can imagine, when you thread your nipple in, you could hit the other nipple. But we can cut down the size of this nipple, or we can provide a longer nipple to give us less in or, or more out to accommodate whatever fixture we're using. Uh, the MC41D is typically used in a back-to-back -back restroom situation where you have the men's on one side, the ladies on the other, and you have the sink in the men's room, the sink on the ladies' side on the opposite wall, <clears throat> and we're using the same leg system to support both, both sinks, both concealed arm uh, lavatories. On uh, bottom of 231, the MC41R, we designed a different type of concealed arm laboratory that has a round upright. This is a rectangular upright. Some people prefer a round upright, which is the MC41R. So you can imagine if the upright is round, then the header bracket is also round to go to the round post. Why some people like that is so that they can adjust they can turn the bracket like this. So the arms can be more easily adjusted. Um, that's an a, that's a installer's preference. Some people like that, some people don't. Some people prefer the rectangular upright, which in most cases is considered heavier duty, low bearing capability. On page 232 at the top, the MC41DR is again a back-to-back -back version of that round upright carrier system. The MC42 is exactly like this MC41, except we have a little bit of a longer arm. So that's for our ADA um, laboratories, where the laboratory is a little bit longer. The MC42 double on page 233 is the same as the 42, but again, this bracket is going to be a double bracket. So we'll have a, another wing coming out here, and we're going to have longer arms so that we can accommodate um, ADA labs on both sides of the, of the uprights. The MC42R, bottom of page 233, again, is the round post upright system, and that has a longer arm to accommodate ADA labs. And then on 234, the MC42DR is a back to back round upright system with um, longer arms for ADA, but with a round upright system. Then we get into the MC51 series on page 234, 235. And these again are carriers that we don't typically recommend, we would rather recommend an MC41, uh, MC31 system because with an MC54, we have the arms, the same arms that we're used to seeing on the 41, but the, the plate system is different. This is a cast iron, two cast iron plates that can be adjusted in and out relative to the width of the fixture that we're trying to support. And you can see how this would be mounted to the studs or to the wall. But we're not getting the same support and strength that you'll have with an MC41. You know, you're still getting the nipple design would go into here. The arm would go into that nipple to support the concealed um, lavatory. But you're not getting the foot support. Some people prefer this because it's, a, it's less costly than the 41, but again, you're not getting the proper support going down to the ground. <clears throat> when you look at page 235, there are different versions 
uh, basically the MC51. So at the top, the 51 LP is the arms only. Somebody could say, I don't even need that spacer bracket system. I have um, threaded couplings that I can mount to my steel studs, and all I need is a threaded arm to thread into the coupling. The MC53, uh, a little bit stronger where you've got a back plate. So in addition to, the, to this system, to the, to the back of this, we're going to have another bracket. And then we're going to sandwich the back plate around the stud. So we're not bolting it to the front of the stud. We're putting it on the front of the stud. We have a back plate on the back of the stud. And then we put bolts through and we sandwich it together. So it's a little bit stronger. But again, you're not getting the foot support to bear the load. The MC54 on 235, this is becoming more common. This is a fabricated steel plate, uh, fairly light gauge. It's easy to mount to the walls. And we, we have just modified that to provide it in two different widths. There are two different... Um, lavatory widths that are very common out there and um, I believe they're 16 and 17 and a half but I could be wrong in those dimensions. 16 and 3 quarters and 17 and 4. Thank you. So 16 and 3 quarter, one width, 17 and a quarter, another width. And then there's a difference in the arms. Um, there are some, because this MC54 does not have the three stage adjustment that we have in the MC41, because the arm dead ends into that bracket, we have different, two different arms relative to the two most common fixtures. Uh, so we're, that is coming out in our new, our new price book um, shortly. And the MC55 on the bottom of 235 is just like the MC53, except we have exposed arms like this. So again, rather than having a concealed arm um, lavatory, we're going to support the sink. The sink will be on top of these arms. But you can see the common theme. I mean, we're using these arms on the exposed type sinks, and we're using these arms, the MC41, MC51, for the concealed arm lavatories. Then on page 236, the, um, the difference between the 55 and the 56 is that the 55 has the backing plate, so we can sandwich the stud. The 56 does not, so we just mount those plates to the studs or to the wall, not as solid. The MC60, um, typically used with service sinks. This could be in a hospital room where um, people are washing their hands. There's a big, deep sink, so we need the support of the two universal bearing plates to bolt the sink to, to mount the sink to. And then we have a nipple at the back end to carry away the, the water drainage from the sink. Typically, I think that M60 is used in a, in a, in a bedpan cleanser sink that you know, has a back yeah. outlet. Yeah. Is, that, is that why it has, that carrier has a back outlet? On the nipple, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great, great comment there. Okay, so those are the different types of plate carriers. Um, question on MC fifty one LP. Okay. That arm um, are different from the regular arm. Good. Good. Very good point. Point. Yeah. That's a good point. On page two thirty five at the top, the MC fifty one LP. That is the same arm as used on the top of page two thirty four. So our standard arm is not threaded. The reason why, this is our MC41 arm, because it goes into the nipple. So because we're going into the nipple, there's no need to thread the arm, because it goes into here, and then we use these two bolts to lock the arm into the nipple. But with the MC51 LP, where typically the installer has a half coupling, similar to this, but, but deeper, and they can weld or mount that to the wall. So they obviously need a threaded connection on the arm to go into that half coupling. 
Uh, and so therefore we make a different arm for that which has got all threads on it. And it's the same as the MC41-R product on page 231 where we have the round uprights with the round header brackets and a threaded, female threaded um, bracket to take a male threaded arm. So just be aware that there are two different um, types of carriers. By far the most common that we sell is the 41, which is this type of arm. But if you don't have our universal bracket system, if we're using the round header bracket or we're using an MC51, MC54 type carrier where we're just mounting the, the plates to the uh, wall, then you would need the threaded arm. The MC51, like this, does have the female threads in the bracket. So it can take the nipple, which then can take the arm. But the MC54 and the 51LP would need the male threads on the arm. Yeah. Good question. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, everybody.